It's been a great time for arcade games in recent years for the likes of Art of Rally, Super Wooden GP, Rise and Chase Turbo, and Circuit Superstars all being highly regarded and set in well. In the same mode as the latter example, Super Spec Rally Cross has bring its own take on top-down racing to a discipline which is lacking games. While the World Rally Cross Championship kicked off in Sweden earlier this month, there hasn't been an official game for the series since Dirt Rally 2.0 and the 2019 DLC. Since then, the series has gone totally electric, although they have their normally aspirated power back for the top RX1 class this year, and seen its popularity decline with the domination of Johan Christofferson, who has won the last four titles. Therefore, it's been a tough time for Rallycross fans and game lovers. The closest there's been to a dedicated Rallycross game has been RXC, Rallycross Challenge, which is stuck in early access on Steam, and Rallycross has been added to the likes of Automotive Vista 2 and Circuit Superstar, so it's great to finally see a fully released dedicated Rallycross game for the first time in a while. And it's good. Super Spec Rally Cross is Volume Games' first title and got released on the 11th of July. It's currently £9.89 until the 21st of July, then it will be £10.99. Like many arcade games released in the past few years, the first thing that will hit you is the arcade aesthetics. It's of games just trying not to be Sims a la Forza Horizon. This game feels straight from an arcade cabinet from the 90s. The ripping guitar music, the stadium announce and graphical style, you can see the inferences immediately. Unfortunately, the inferences also extend to the settings. While the volume choices are better than most, there isn't much to choose for graphic settings and there's no chance to rebind the controller buttons. I know it's best to play with controller, you can play with keyboard if you want, although again, no chance to rebind the keys. There are four modes to tackle with Grand Prix, single race, time trial and split screen. While the latter three do as they say on the tin, Grand Prix is slightly different than you might expect. While there's no career mode, Grand Prix sees you go through six events with four races each. Starting at fuel level, you go through spark, gear, RPM, champ and random. Each event win unlocks a new car. Now all the cars handle the same, you might recognise the 80s and 90s vehicles they pay tribute to with a Subaru Dare. Aldi there, etc. There's 12 cars in total, 6 modern marvels and 6 rally icons. They're all instantly recognisable and look great with the game's graphic style. Their cartoony nick reminds me of the late Jim Bamba cartoons. We're just missing drivers with big heads and helmet eyes. The cars drive with great grip and there's enough feel through the controller that I'm not looping the vehicle around a lot unlike the aforementioned circuit superstars and can drift through corners I know that's not the quickest way around some of them. It could be good around a double right left hander or a tight hairpin on gravel but on tarmac you might get overtaken by the AI. Also don't touch the grass or you're almost slow to a stop but this could be good around some hairpins for example. The lack of difference in feel between the grass and dirt is also noticeable with just a flat heavy feel on both, although your car moves a bit more normally through the dirt. Speaking of the AI, they're decent. There's three difficulties with fast, fast and super spec. On the two level difficulties, it could be easy to win races and events. However, at the hardest super spec level, they can stick to you like glue. And make the slightest mistake and they can nip through and even put away depending on the circuit and that's the best thing about them on the hardest difficulty it does require some skill to hold them back or keep up with them that battling quality to them which greatly imitates real life rally cross is also their biggest weakness into a hairpin and you're close ahead of them sometimes they can try to dive to the inside while that might look like space for a move for them there's actually a barrier wall in the way and the clumsiest kind of notions of the AI extends to them battling among themselves as two cars can knock each other in front heading into a corner which means the whole back just runs into the back of them as there's no time for them to react. Over jumps as well it's easy for them to land on you or the AI opponents halting both of your progresses to the delight of the rest of the field. Minor gripes aside though the AI does provide a good challenge. Finally, there's the tracks. 20 in total, I know some are circuits with multiple layouts. You might be able to recognise the inspiration for some of them from real life, such as the Rochia 
circuit in France, the Estering in Germany, oh hello, in Norway. Most tracks are laps around 15 seconds, although there is, there is the odd over-esque track that takes less than 10 seconds to do. So in the events, in the Grand Prix modes, you have seven that race instead of five. The tracks are nicely modelled, and after a couple of hours, the feeling of tracks repeating has already hit. Oh, so the AI performance does vary greatly on some tracks. That's nothing against the circuit designs, but rather shows the length of play you will get out of this game. Little touches like the sparks when you hit someone, and the smoke or dust from drifting or driving on the gravel or tarmac had to a great looking title. While the game is limited with options and content, Super Spec Rally Cross is a great game to pick up with your controller or Steam Deck and have a few hours of fun wondering why there aren't more Rally Cross titles, especially when they can be a lot of fun like this. Great pace, on to the next one. 